Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Here's some Mike Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back for our second Sunday stream where we'll be continuing with the Dark Side Detective. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have to say I do prefer this one over the Count Lucanor, even though we've... To be fair to Lucanor, we've only gotten into it like a half an hour, 45 minutes. But yeah, I... <laughs> I want to see how far we can go in this one. I'm presuming we can at least finish this case, Log Mess, and get started on the last one. I very yeah. much doubt Wait. it will finish, but... Hmm. What? Can I, pr can I pronounce that again? Lock mess. There you go. For the sun is a lock mess. I thought, wait, I didn't get the extra O from. <laughs> okay, one of these days I really should start looking at these recordings if I'm just me speaking or you're just mishearing constantly. I would not be surprised if it's half the time. Actually, I'm going to make a time note on this 5M <laughs> just so I can double check. And yeah, yeah I. I would be surprised if I misheard. <laughs> I. I doubt that we'll finish the game in this stream, though I also very much doubt that we'll just, uh, that we'll be busy with this case for two hours straight. So let's go take a look. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Okay. Lock mess. And yeah, the Blood Wolves being Dooley's scout. <laughs> well, here I am. Camp, what am I doing here? <laughs> Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. I think that's the first time we've seen a sort of a cinematic like this, where he just rolls in with it. Yeah? Wait, wait. Uh, is it only me, or does that police badge on the card look like a... Ronnie... Sunside up? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it might just be an egg. <laughs> it's a poorly painted sign saying Jamboree inside. First here, that's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think egg, about it ever again. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. <laughs> okay. Campsites. This is what happens when you let the people vote on a name. Then it would have been Campy McCampsite. The other choices were Cabin in the Wood Knot, Tent Pegging, and The Place Where You'll Die. So not hard to see how it won. Okay, now I don't know if you'd be sitting on my brain auto-translated you to say Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> uh, cab uh, it does sound like it. Cabin in the Wood Knot. Yeah, I think mean, that... That, this, that time, I will admit, that might be my brain tricking me. Let's see. It's been years since I came here. Memories, eh? Ooh, pardon mm -hmm. on that one. Ooh, just back from dinner. Yeah, it's, yeah, not that... Still dinner had, so stomach be working. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> oh! What? I hate that sound! <laughs> the damn bugs! It's, it, it's a bit too realistic! Yeah. It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. What the heck? I'm cringing! <laughs> Hot rodding, seven, eight cars. I guess that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. The scroll reads, park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with, uh, with the fun you'll, uh, you will have at the Jamboree. No other motives. Honest. Right. Oh, the rope snaps. I guess I have a sign now. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Hi there. Welcome to Lake Monster. Get out while you can. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Because of the lake monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. Uh, I'm getting some bit mixed symbols, symbols, mixed signals here. <laughs> what are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that self, self uh, you know, that self same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream. I say you could be a chef, but then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors and I think I made the right choice. 
Good point, uh, Jamie, not Oliver. Uh, not Oliver. I. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes. Me and my flights are fancy. I work at the tourism board, and this is the tourism board. The more tourism plank. We, it and I, tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. <laughs> he has a point. What? Yeah, like th this city is filled with freaky stuff. Let's see. Campsite got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Can't connect it. It's also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. And it's where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play. And with fear, because everything here is so awful. <laughs> Tell me more about this monster. Oh, huge big fangs it has, or tentacles, maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings, so if you saw them, they'd probably be wings. They may be fins though, hard to tell at a distance. It stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount, you can be sure of that. So basically every Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no, I've not. You have seen it, haven't you? Or at least something. You Has anyone ever seen it? A lift the tale of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have it taken? Rumored? Many? Proven? None. Right. Yep. <laughs> Hello there, trucker. And yeah, the, the mosquitoes are getting under Kier's nerve. How are you doing, huh? A fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I'm torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie, the monster, it kills. Probably. <laughs> Goodbye. Run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I'm married into a powerful tourism family. <laughs> okay, let's okay. escape the bugs. Also, I have to say this. Kill. Bigfoot. It's not aquatic. Yeah, but I was basically joking at the fact that whenever someone sees a, a cryptid of some sort, they can never get anything concrete about it. Like, how high is it supposed to be? Uh, how much might it weigh? How many victims has it quote-unquote had or hadn't? <laughs> well, in that case, then you use still a paragraph. Most Bigfoot cases are usually similar. Hmm. Unlike lake monsters, where they are more varied. Yeah. Let's see, Devon. Oh, hello. You're back from the uh, from the library. You're here, Devon. You rang. Blood Elva Dooley has gone missing. Ah. <laughs> missing? Tell me what happened. Much crying. <laughs> Questionably authentic whales. We don't know. He was here last night. Then this morning, gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate, then we went to the office to, I don't know, do office-y things? I guess we start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo, just, con <laughs> just convenient sections. Come on, we've got us a dually to find. <laughs> okay, well, I guess your voice is getting a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. Uh, we need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the moods. Get it? Too tense? <laughs> too tense. Eh, eh. You know what improves <laughs> a joke? Explaining it. Uh, let's see. Emily? Can any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? That's scouts. We're taught to never prepare. It means we're never ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. <laughs> okay. Good God. Well, at least one of them came prepared with a phone. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown. Looking for him should calm them. No problem. Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. 
But then I realized it's just Emily. <laughs> it's Stitch. <laughs> uh, oh, hello, the bugs are back. More bugs. Why does really need a better hobby? You think? See, there's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room, but already had the window ordered, so... The dorm room reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. Uh, hey, what's going on? No. Normally I hear fly sounds. It's used for TV or a speaker. So I know it's not real, but do I have headphones? <laughs> it sounds a lot more 3D. Yeah, and more like vending moments where it fl flies out, mosquitoes fly near your ear. And that's what's. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yep. Jack Turner? Hello? Hello? This is Jack Turner, Devon's father. I just want to check in that the boy is doing okay. Not struck too wide eyed by all that nature, I hope. He is, uh, fine. Sorry for calling up. Jack is a warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call now, Barbara. Just checking on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? Yes, there very much is. Yeah, and was that a FNAF reference? The first part? I don't think so. Let's see. I'm glad there's nobody else around this weekend. All those other kids irritate me with their questions. What's your name? Where are you from? Wait a second, is that my bag? <laughs> okay, Emily is the problem. Wait, is the trouble kid in this uh, in this batch? This place is empty. Where is everyone? Eh, at home with their families. But isn't this meant to be a jamboree? Oh, all that stuff is fake. It's obvious, isn't it? I guess it is. But then why are you guys here? Us? We like hanging out with Dooley. I hope we find him soon. Yeah, we will. Yeah, whenever Dooley's in the room, everyone else feels smarter. <laughs> Sometimes I run around and around and around the building and I go so fast that I move everything into the future. How far into the future? <laughs> Sometimes five whole minutes. And how long does it take you to build up the speed to do that? About five minutes. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, kiddo. Good work. <laughs> Let's see. Paper can be damp because of leaks, extreme humidity, being in a jungle, or getting scared and wetting itself. Uh, uh, stop trying to burn that flyer, Emily. Stupid damp paper. One of these is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish. Are we going to run into... Uh... <laughs> is Insmith across the camp or something? Oh, no. Blood Wolves of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wall. We don't have time for blow-ins. Okay. Box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. Okay. Uh, some boots, <laughs> a Wookiee mask, and some sort of bag or coat. That's the top one was mine. Or American <laughs> Werewolf of London? Maybe. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Wait, that mean that is... B okay. These bunks are all mine, but I let my pack sleep in them. A lone wolf is a weak wolf. Also, a lone wolf has no meat shields. Uh, come on, Hill. <laughs> that is totally the, the reasoning she would go for. Is this the boy or the girl dorm? There are no genders in the blood wolves. Started as a cost-cutting scheme, but ended up being strangely progressive. Okay. One of these bunks is full of money. I hid my Monopoly earnings in it. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like this place hasn't been cleaned since the last time it was here. Crime-solving for boys? Okay. 
is this? There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Gloop. <laughs> yeah, squidgy delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay, we've got marshmallows. <laughs> I've never actually eaten roasted marshmallows. I have, I think. I think it's okay. No, yeah. I think I'd really fell along with hot chocolate with marshmallows in them. Let's see, I think I've dunked uh, marshmallows into chocolate, but nothing much else. Let's see. I want to be leaves. I keep telling Dooley to stop buying knockoff posters. <laughs> How many blood wolves are in Twin Lakes Agnewing? Anyway? Well, that's for our pack 347. But the numbering starts at 210 and skips every 11 packs, so it's hard to say. Uh, okay. Wait, what? That sounds like a way to scam uh, for, well, money. Since you can claim that there are so you know, a lot more than there actually are. Let's see. When Blood Elf Aduli is back, I'm gonna convince him to burn Betty into a robot wars... Uh, to turn Betty into a robot wars contender. All opposition will be destroyed. Resistance is futile. What? That's my girl. <laughs> Uh, I just noticed that red light there. <laughs> Sometimes oh. Blood Elf Dooley lets us play games with him on the computer. If fill in police reports is the one we play the most. <laughs> Come on. Let's see, it's on and Dooley's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Oh, hello. Those were good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Okay, that also explains why he can stand <laughs> Dooley. They've been childhood friends. Aww. Let's see. There's a file in here called Passwords. Let's see. Dooley's password is password. That's as secure as it, as it is surprising. Not. Let's see, this machine is pretty much empty. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf, no need to look it up. Okay, we have a name. Let's see, it seems he was out hanging out on his deluminati.com forum. There's no one threads. Dear Deluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this, there's this guy who keeps bumping his post and pinging Dooley. All of his posts are signed Nigel, fellow human, for realsies. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? Okay. Nigel Marvin? An empty folder. It has a sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley, and I'm pretty sure that's a next file reference. It's, yeah, yeah, the, tr the truth is out there. Let's see. This is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. It's like SETI, but better. Hello, Armelia, Devon, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking? Now does it know my name? We did say it was better than SETI. How can I help you today? What can you tell me, uh, uh, what can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the passwords. What are you? How are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather, and co uh, yeah, collate signs in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like SETI, I get it. Uh, Sadie is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and can f figure out the meaning of life. Meaning of life? Yes, but duly deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Oh, come on! Input, passwords, uh, fine. Let's see. Uh, where? Okay, this is not... This is a bit out of sync, I think. Where? What, what was the signal Dooley found? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Essentially the internet, but why? Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine. All you had to say was fancy internet. Where did it lead him? Across the lake, to the signal source. It was. I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. 
I have no legs. <laughs> Let's see. I need that info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> Detective. <laughs> Hell. Devon? Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. <laughs> what? Wait, why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf secrets are... Sorry. And you don't have a needs to know... <laughs> needs to know in case of a needs, needs to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Oh. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should have the roots blood, uh, blood alpha duly took. Okay. Uh. Okay, what do I do with this then? Do I need to find the next point then? Like, we know that the next one came from across the lake. So is it somewhere around here? I'm yeah, presuming that if there is something nearby, it'll just ping it. I cannot wonder how common locks are. Like, I know there's tons of locks in Scotland, I know that. But how common are they elsewhere? Okay, I'm not getting anything. So either I'm not... Oh, there we go. Okay. I was just completely looking in the wrong place. Oop. There we go. And I'm guessing the next one is going to be around here somewhere. Okay. Why does it Closer. try to triangulate? No, it's not triangulate. It's tracking down where the signal bounced around from. So, from different uh, IP points or something like that. Wait, that's in the middle of the water. Okay. And yeah, I get the feeling we've skipped something at the absolute least. Ah, there. Okay, what are these nodes in the middle of the water? There we go. Huh, this looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley? Not sure. Let's print it out and see where it leads us. Okay. Yeah, we definitely accidentally skipped something. That's... Hello? Hello, me again. Just want to make sure you were aware that Devon is allergic to technology. Bitten by a toaster once. Uh, <laughs> he has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in the tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. Um, I don't think you understand the wilderness, Mr. Turner. In fact, maybe uh, you'd send me to make a no model number. Hello? Hello? Robert, I think the line has gone dead. I didn't expect we'd find someone else here. Yeah. Stu, don't ask for specifics. What's the food like out here? Surprisingly good. Agnes may be a grump, but she knows how to microwave anything to perfection. <laughs> okay, it's better than slop. I can recite pie to 34 ingredients. Not the... <laughs> Wrong pie, kids. The canteen is the best place to come for knives. Why do you need knives? Are you trying to suggest that at your age you don't know what why knives are useful? Wait, what age do you think I am? A hundred? Uh. Why do we get the feeling this is going to end with Emily in handcuffs? For unrelated matters? Parts. They look brand new. Those needs no parts to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever. I don't need some. What? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chased him away from my stew. Would have ruined it. He was adding flavors. <laughs> okay. What? Not, 
not many people here. And what's am I? The people, uh, people police. Sometimes they's here. Sometimes they ain't. Yeah, there. Is this supposed to be a sort of Brooklyn accent or something? But you were here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know yous was the people police. Well, we are the police, but not that one. I thought not. Why do you work out here? Working with kids suits is my sunny disposition. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Oh, Whatever, yeah. whatsever. A can of dehydrated eggs. Uh... How would that even... What, so you expect me to find a chicken every day I need to make an omelette? I need to make an omelette? I use those to cut Devon's hair. It's why I wear this cap. Metal cups, a can of Colonel Mustard's poison <laughs> custard, and a box of Radaway radiation removal powder. Okay. A bit funny in sunny in Fallout? Yeah. Clue, or Cluedo, depending on where you are. And yeah, Fallout. This place has it all. When I was lost here, this was full of plastic fish. That's progress for you. Okay. So we have right. a pot. Let's see. Uh, hello. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess. To start a fire? No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. Well, no, I gotta make sure the other packs don't want him to, <laughs> want to poach him from us. Uh, yeah, this kid is going behind bars for something. Even if I make something up. Uh, we've enough food to wait this beast out for days. I'll get nice and fresh in tinfoil. Barry and Larry. Are you here to see it too? To uh, see what? We've been waiting ages and ages for it to show. We're starting to get bored of waiting. But we're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Are you so eager to see a monster? Be 100% of Twin Lakes Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. <laughs> People don't know this, but there are a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe oh, you me, I know. <laughs> Sorry, guy, but the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiveing to us. Oh! Now it's personal. Oh, yeah. Do you not have something better to do and to be doing? Nope, not a thing. See you soon, unless the monster gets you. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, get these away to get the boat, I'm presuming. An old boat with no gas and a hole in it. I'll need to fix this if I want to use it to <clears throat> follow this map across the lake. Oh, that's easy to fix. Let's see. Blood Elva Dooley says that government is a sheer delusion we all experience from chemicals put into the water. Who puts these chemicals into the water? The government. Which doesn't exist. According to them. Um... Yeah. Circular idiocy. I always wanted to be a water wolf. Water wolf? Like a regular blood wolf, but we also learn how to locate and scuttle submarines. Why would you want to learn that? For when they come. Who? The submarine people, obviously. Eh. Water is made out of ice and heat. I'm not sure that's entirely correct. Okay. I'm guessing we can stick a marshmallow in the hole. Or... Well, if you uh, melt ice, you works. get water, but still. Yeah. A big Let's misunderstanding. See. Nothing fits, it's all kid sized. Devon? The props are kid sized, but I'm not sure what to get at them to drop this up as. Oh. Hmm. Okay, and how do we even get fuel? Let's see, can we. It won't stay in place, I need something to stick it there. Fails. No. Marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in paste form for that to work. Do we flatten them? The bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. Nope. Pot of marshmallows. 
Okay. If I try to... Okay. Hmm. So we need something to stamp them with. To flatten the window. I like your car. How fast does it go? Fast enough. You don't know, do you? The kind of cases we investigate don't really call for high-speed chases. Good point. Good point. I like police cars, and fire trucks, and ambulances, and helicopters, but I don't like planes, except for jets. Good to know. So everything except <laughs> everything except for propeller planes. But did you become a cop? It was the coat mainly. You don't get the same swish out of a normal coat. These are special issue. Let's see. I'm looking for a friend. I'm a flattered. I think you you're a nice guy, but my social calendar it's full. I meant a friend of mine has gone missing. Of course, sure. I knew that. Uh, what do they look like? Um, he's similar to me, but about 20% more pixels. <laughs> no, sorry, the monster probably got him. Run <laughs> before it gets you too. They all laugh when I tell them, oh, Jamie, they say you and your monster. And then bam, it takes one of them, drags them off into his mountainy or watery or maybe even cavernous lair. Does this happen often? It might do. It's crafty, covers up its tracks by neither being seen or heard of or doing anything at all, really. Devious. AKA it does nothing. Goodbye, run and don't look back. Oh, good gods. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourself? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it, I just freed the flame. It's how I got my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Um, Blood Wolves have a lot of very n much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Let's see. Okay, so we need to, we need to make glue out of the marshmallows, but we need something to basically yeah flatten it with. Just leave the rest in case Agnes ever needs them. Not gonna happen. Can I use a can? Not dog hot dogs. Seriously, our product contains 0% dog. Guaranteed. Not a guarantee I would have thought had to be given. Wait. Half baked beans from the not thought through limited. Not dog hot. That, I have heard that before. Chewing. Mm, might have been the vegetarian hot dogs thing. No, no, no. M more from another game. Uh, one of the spin-offs of XCOM, where you actually recruit aliens to your p uh, police force. Uh, Chimera Squad. Uh, that one, yes. Was I'm not, I'm not sure if there. we should stream XCOM 2 at some point, because there's also the risk that yeah, I just end up failing with that and needing to restart. But oh, I do yeah. want to I do want to play Chimera Squad at some point. Let's see. Some tubing for clearing out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small length. Okay, so we've got tubing. We can use that with the gas can. I'm yeah, siphoning kit. Oh, wait, are we going to... Yes, we're going to. <laughs> Stand back, it's time for me to summon up some fire juice. <laughs> Good work, I guess. Now hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on their side. It's literally our freaking car. <laughs> well, that's the gas taken care of. Now, how to make uh, marshmallow glue. We could do that as a, a gift. After Emily smashed the room's lights. It had it coming. <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay, there's obviously something I'm overlooking somewhere. Hmm. Let's see, I'm not seeing any items we could use to flatten these out. For, because we need to use them with the boards to, well, board up the boat. Hmm. This is weird. I've got to say, use the voice act this game already. 
There we go. That's it filled up. Now to fix that hole. Uh, yeah. Brood in tinfoil. I've got my eye on you, Moon. Up there watching all the night crimes, but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice, that's what it is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I know the moon's not a person. I was only joking with it. Joking with the moon? Yes. <laughs> okay, question is, who, who of these four is the not <laughs> if the naughtiest? Well, what? Mm. Do yeah, nothing over the moon. Your costume to the moon. Yes. Yeah, I thought maybe that would give him the idea to get them to dress up as a werewolf or something. Yeah, but he said something else I didn't get to read. Let's see. Hmm, that didn't deceive much. Is that supposed to yeah. imply that he's threw them at the moon and have to go fetch them again? <laughs> Hmm. I thought first it said somewhere that, uh, that he had tried it before or something. Yeah. Need something to stick it with, but those don't work. Wait, I take the pan to the fire. Oh, melt, yeah, melt, okay, yeah, I was thinking about squishing them. This will melt them. Yeah, let's melt these mellows down, gang. Melt them to the ground. Okay, there we go. Yeah, good thinking on that. You're welcome. Okay. Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team. Yeah. Sticky plank. There, that's the hole fixed. I guess now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye on out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just write danger all <laughs> All of, on all your paperwork. Do. Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. <laughs> In you get. Okay, I thought we had to scare them off to use the boat. Uh, hello. Hey, I recognize you. <laughs> Dick Brickman here, reporting from here. The place I am, to you, wherever you are, from the Twin Lake new <laughs> News. Uh, with me, Brick Dickman. Or Dick Brickman. <laughs> Got his name backwards. Oh, good gods. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, am here to report the news and the news of the day that is there is that there is a monster living in this lake. Hmm. That's not really, really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age. Breaking news. Police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. Of course. Uh, How do you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. So what's the scoop on the monster? We're here live at the scene where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know there's no audience here, right? No need to talk like you're mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective. You're here. An audience of four. An audience of four or four million. The news has to be heard. Uh, he's just stuck in a... Late 50s announcer voice 24-7. Is what I have to say to... about that. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in to the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling uh, conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates featuring me, Dick Brickman. Right, Dick Brickman will follow any lead on the creature, any lead at all. Uh, uh, I... Just a moment. This is what I think about you, Brickman. Ah! And yes, I finally put in the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place, but there are monsters in the forest. Let's hope not. Let's see, camera. Oh, Hands up the camera. We're rolling. It's a Polaroid camera, an unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter, Dick Brickman will get his man or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do. Unless I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Okay, so we're going to have to lure him away. 
it's still a Polaroid camera. It doesn't record. It takes photo. Yeah, I think I get this. I think I can see why uh, the people in this uh, town are so nutty and dumb. If uh, these blood wolves are anything to go by. When do we get the police brutality to press? It's not a thing we're going to do. Now, do you get any joy from this job? I wonder if this guy has his Ask the Real Question badge. I'm going to regret this, but what are the real questions? Which computer has El has been uploaded to? Who funded Columbus's fake discovery of America? Where? Sorry, the fake discovery of America? Yeah, Dooley says that there's no actual proof America exists. That right now we're actually in a secret country in the middle of the Alps. That's impressive, even for Dooley. God, it reminds me that when they could be promoting rap, joke for them being a made-up joke. Uh, what better was it the word? It's not me to see what 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 they. I'll leave you to cook on that then. Yeah, uh, basically just a fake story that Finland didn't exist. Oh. Conspiracy! <laughs> that, that's the word, conspiracy. A fake joke conspiracy about Finland not existing. He made a full episode about it. Let's see. If I had a camera, I'd take pictures of bugs and fish and rocks and other fish because there's more than one type of fish. But that's true. Yeah, we can still poke him. I've got my on you, Moon. Up there, what? Da, 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 da. Yep. Repeat dialogue. I wonder what secrets this forest, hi forest hides. Not that I have any real herbs to find out. Fireflies. Flies on fire. I've buried many unwanted gifts in these woods. What? Can't you orienteer us through these woods? That's a scout thing. Instead, we learn how to block ourselves from the all-seeing eye of GPS satellites. I don't like dark things, like the dark and night and night Tim. Do you mean nighttime? I don't like nighttime, but that's only because that's when night Tim comes to whisper in my ear about the crushing realities of adulthood. That's probably Emily as well. Hello. Nothing in here. No siree. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are duly student. <laughs> I bet that cave has spiders in it. And bats. And bat spiders. I want a bad, <laughs> bad, bad spider. Hmm. I may need to keep the other two occupied while I investigate that cave. Perfect, that should give me all the time I need. Time? For what? I've nearly spent enough time waiting besides <laughs> cave mouth to get my waiting around by a cave mouth badge. <laughs> Why is that a thing? When will that come in useful? Well, we're waiting beside the cave mouse right now, aren't we? <coughs> see how good am I am at getting... Yeah, I will see how good I am at it? It's because I've been working on getting the badge. Okay, I was... I was expecting her to say something about jiggling keys or something. Do cave mouse have cave teeth and cave tongues too? No. If you're lucky. No, I'll lock it. Let's see, there seems to be a cave hidden behind that obviously fake the court and cover. Let's go! Um, you guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm gonna mess up anyone who comes near. Uh... Hello? <laughs> Nigel? Is the dark still out there? He's getting so close. I'll have a look. Oh, hey, detective. Dooley! What's going on here? Huh? Oh, this is Nigel. Um, hi. He's a fellow truthy. He invited me here to help with a problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, and uh, no. I need Dooley's help. Illuminati.com and he are famous in truthy circles, you know. What's the problem? The government wants me because I'm a monster. A talking monster? Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. <laughs> anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. Too late. I didn't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about, <laughs> about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? 
You mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No, we get rid of him. Once he's gone, what you need, uh, Idle, is a mind hat <laughs> that'll keep him off your trail. Mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal, maybe aluminum. You mean a tin foil hat? That sounds perfect. <laughs> It'll stop them using your mind waves to locate you. <laughs> Genius! I knew you'd be able to help. Uh, come I'm on. Sure that, uh, I expect a night shield to be a future to be an alien, but. I was ready, it was not human at least. Just. Again, thought it was an alien, not. The lake monster. Yeah, I was expecting it to be Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Do you like that? It's my human disguise. It's how I got into camp and convinced Dooley into coming with me. Right. It certainly was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday I hope to work up a <laughs> work in a film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. What? Full of fake gem reflies in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explains the childlike nature of the posters. <laughs> but nothing explains how we got a crafts table and a computer in here. Ugh. Sticky tape. A staple in every adventurous uh, toolbox, uh, toolkit, even though it isn't a stapler. The opposite to Fulu? A uh, staple or something, yeah. Let's see. It's open on the same forum page that Dooley's machine was, and the keys are damp, very damp. Surprised that it's not short-circuiting them. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, I. So, a monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all, all <laughs> we're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't, have not, we don't have much religious stuff on the sea. <laughs> I've just read the books I stole, borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure. What are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has good dental, plan, dental plans. But you don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the best place to be. You'd be... Uh, kidnapping, eh? I think that's you know, it's an unfair way to describe luring somebody to a place in their false pretense. Trapping them in a cavernous lair, and refusing to let them leave. Um... Why do you think the government are after you? Hollywood. And it'd be cheaper than CGI and the monster, <laughs> monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in a life of fame. I'd prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars shine. He has somewhat of a point, though I don't think anyone is after him. Except for the nut jobs. Dooley? Are you okay, Dooley? Yep, it's quite nice here. Hold on! Hmm? I'm supposed to read him. Yeah, the... <laughs> this time, I even I forgot! <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Wish <clears throat> muck. What says I can leave? Maybe you can help protect Nigel from the Mnark. Just get rid of that guy outside and then get the mine head to keep them from finding him again. Dooley, the guy outside is a journalist from TV. Perfect cover! Oh boy, those government types are crafty. Best convince them that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his trail. Tail. Literally and figuratively. Okay. Okay, gang. The good news is that Dooley is inside and is safe. The bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? He, uh, there's, um... It's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions badge. <laughs> yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's see. But nothing no. else here? They mm. are having fun, at least. But still, yeah. I think they could give them some better badges. <laughs> Let's see. How are you going to get him to flee? Let's see. I need to get these... Yeah, you know, I could get these guys to dress up as a monster, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see. Otherwise, the disguise will be spoiled. Over here, maybe? 
Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all of this. And <laughs> Bigfoot. Utterly convincing. We can't walk in this. Can we take it off? Yes. Hmm. Big tall. Let's see. I guess we need to get these idiots to see the quote unquote monster. Hmm. Okay, we can only do it in specific places, then it seems. But if we try to leave, then... Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Is there anything else we've not been to? Yeah, I think this is everything. Okay, so we what can... are we missing? Let's see. Sticky tape. Ink. The map, I doubt. Alright, let me... Let us stay there, then go to the other side. Let's see. Yeah, we can't talk with them. No, no, not talk. You go to the other dude. Yeah, but they... Yeah. They want to follow. Hmm. I guess we need to make a picture. Dooley's Nark. Take Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lakes... <laughs> Twin Lake uh, news with me, Dick Brickman. Hmm. Uh, Hill? I have a feeling if you keep re re reading like that, it's gonna affect you. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, inside the... Oh, wait, no, they can't walk. Is that ice? So this is the only place where they'll... Yeah, where they'll act like this. Can now the game is very oh. Hmm. We have limited items, we have limited places to be. But I don't see how to solve this bit then, unless we've again missed something. Hmm. Let me look around <laughs> once more. Hmm. Wait, can we use the car? Yeah. Looks like like moths to a flame. They're not moths, they're flies. Yes, but they're like moths to they're flies. Ma flies. And it just popped into my mind that I don't know the mix of fibers in Devon's uniform, and he may be near, though not too near, I hope, fire while at camp. Uh, could you tell me the composition? Um, and while we're at it, could you run me through your fire plan? Just the basics will do. Staff training, frequency of extinguisher tests, your list of emergency helicopter pilot number. Jack, why, who are you on the phone to? Nobody, darling. Uh, got any tin foil? There's a canteen. Of course we got tin foil. Can I have some? Nope. That's for kitchen use only. Hmm. Here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. In the... Wait, no, they still can't walk. I'm not talking to you anymore, detective. Hmm. It's like we we need a photo or something. And hello, pizza, which keeps on trolling me with your streams. And also hello. <laughs> okay, how does it keep trolling? Like not sending out messages or something? 
Oh, hello, pizza lover. Lovely to see you here again. I feel like I accidentally made a pattern there. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're back in the dark side, detective, and I'm a bit stuck here. We need to we need to lure this reporter away. But yeah, the only thing we can do at the moment is to get these kids to dress up like a uh, well this. But the moment we try to move away, they yeah go back and they just take it all off. Hmm. We are missing something here. Wait, um, is it? What part of the ground was a bit weirdly spelt? One part of the forest, you mean? Yeah, on the ground. Okay, it's... maybe I saw something. Okay, from Pizza Lover. No, uh -huh. not like that for some reason. Every stream title you, you, on your stream are not an Elysian tale. That's like five. And the category is always dust. I don't know what's wrong. I know it's not you guys' fault. Uh, yeah, because when I'm looking at the chatty program here, it says uh, the Dark Side Detective number three. Weird. Uh, let me actually. Can I look myself up on the Twitch app here to see if it's uh, busted yeah. as well? It, it could be uh, on Twitch side not updating properly. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Stream info. Yeah, it's just a uh, hmm, weird. Okay. I might have to look things up a bit here. I that. think what we need to do is to make a photo of the kids as Bigfoot. Hmm. Not yet, I'm working on it. So. Your line. Now I should tell them to wear that hat until the north is gone. Otherwise, they will still have to uh, take that. They will still have this as his last signal location. Too late. It's not that take there, but those government... Government tools of resistance. Of what first was I saw a typo. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look this up. Uh, pizza, yeah, yeah. You know how on Twitch there is a little comment on the left side selling follow channels on there? It says you're doing the Dark Side Detective, but when I click on the stream, it's all about dust. Okay, weird. Uh, let's see. Dark Side Detective. A stupid little there. Dark Side Detective. Lock Miss. Gonna grab some water. Let's see. Um, low spoiler guide. Uh, Barry and Larry get rid of the reporter. Mm -hmm. Oh, Otis gives hints instead of outright uh, answers. Also, fuck off with your cookies. None of this. Wait. Delete all. Oh, fuck off with this. There. Okay, what to do with the reporter? He's looking for a big scoop. He should find it. Yeah. And uh, the map. What? And I'm back. Let's see. A printout of the lake with the route Dooley took. I wonder if I can use this to lure away the. Okay. This is in. This map has no new information on it, so it is of no interest to me. Uh, well placed. A faked sighting. Goodness me, oh my. Breaking news. The monster has been sighted elsewhere. 
This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now we need tin foil. And oh, also. Uh, wait, he left first. it behind. Stop he left that? his camera. I guess I should bring it back to Lost and Found. Uh, okay. You could have said something new as you exited the boat, Tim. Oh, well, it's... Okay, Dick Brickman's Polaroid camera. Say, whatever Bigfoot say when they're having their picture taken. Wait, shouldn't that be Big Freets? Big Freets? Photo all the same. <laughs> Photographic evidence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we get rid of the, uh, the loons. Yeah, uh, yeah. point at your character at point some point again. Yeah, that, that's me, that's from him getting poked with the camp with the mouse. Him just reacting yeah, to that. He said you cut that out earlier. <laughs> okay. I found a photo you two may be interested in. Some proof, finally. We knew he was real. Wait until we show the gang. The mystery gang? They seem to have left a cooler, food and tinfoil. I'll have some of that. Yep, tin foil. Now we get back across again. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, I see they have written a few things here. Here, Dino, 10 out of 10, would keep as a pet even if he would eat me. Oh dear. Okay, there's... Okay, there we go. It's fixed now. Now it says you're doing this game. Yes, good luck. All right, good luck safely. Okay, see you next Missed. time. I'm shut off to you. Yeah. I keep your company. Okay, here you go. If I try, it's he's gone. Uh... Is the hat ready? Not yet. Uh... There's no time to waste, Detective. You need to make that protect protection device. Device, <sighs> Millie. It's up. Okay, let's do this. Uh, really? <laughs> really? Uh, there's the tip. This goes somewhere here. That goes there. Uh, there. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to uh, not glue it together like this or something. You're supposed to fold it. Yeah, that should do it. Now I just need to take this here, fold that there, and voila, the tin foil hat. Then again, these are just smaller scraps of tin foil. I better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. Okay, here. Is the not gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? They're not distracted and dungeon untraceable. It's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Can we stay in touch? Of course! Just email me from hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the Maria Mariana Church. Coffee shops are horrible places to do that on. Yeah. It's probably you do something you like likely security cameras. <laughs> okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Poor guy. I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself. I don't tell the man nothing. It's good to have you back, Dooley. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> the petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. S'mores all around. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay, who are the bloodiest wolves around who keeps their sniffers to the ground? We do. We do. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I cannot do a singing voice to that lyrics. I could not do it with that accent. 
Okay, I just then. gave up right away. <laughs> dawn of the Dead, really? Dawn. Yeah, Dawn of the, the Dead, not Dawn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, then I, okay. I misheard. What you said, Dawn? <laughs> Let's see. The chief summoned us all to the briefing room about a code red citywide issue. Okay. And oh, yeah, that, no. that took only about over a, a bit of an hour. Yeah. Hmm. I have to say, for the, a game called The Dark Side Detective, I would have expected a bit more than uh, two cases with Dark Side stuff, unless this is going to involve more. As it looks like someone had finally escaped the crapper. <laughs> hmm. Wait, is everyone here? Yeah. No. <laughs> is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city, so it's all hands on deck. That means you too, McLean. It's time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy stomach is able for it? Yeah, <laughs> shut him up. You two, stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there. Thanks, Chief. Guys, I have not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what's causing this behavior, we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there and good luck. Squad dismissed. This sounds more like a, a zombie apocalypse. Let's see. My name is next to the museum, a shop, downtown, and the old mafia mansion. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day. How's your arm? I'll live, thanks. Burp tried to bite me, but I got away. Crazy, right? Yeah, definitely a zombie apocalypse. Sorry, McQueen. I know this isn't your usual kind of case, but I need everybody out on the streets for this. Also something, I've, I've been calling him Frank McQueen. <laughs> His name is Francis. Uh, where, did I, I, where did I get Frank from? Did, did, did McKean call him Frankie or something? No problem, Chief. Happy to help. I think someone else accidentally called him Frankie. Maybe. Oh, wait, no. I think he... I think himself uh, used the term Frankie for a joke. Yeah. Or to hype himself up. According to this, the entire city is in a state of panic. Arrests, hospitalizations, collateral damage, and purchase of spooky soundtracks are all up. <laughs> yep, Dick Brickman here, reporting live from City Hall, where I, Dick Brickman, am slowly being approached by a hungry-looking politician. Mr. Politician, our report suggests that the city is in a state of panic. Can I get a response? Same old party line. When will these politicians live their life and up their acts? <laughs> uh, old moldy clothes are in while looking alive is out. <laughs> Local cat saves firemen. <laughs> um, tree? Okay. What? what? <laughs> Property prices soar as previous owners have returned, <laughs> resulting in evictions <laughs> across the city really mcburger reports spike in requests for <laughs> brain meat i was almost expecting the mcrib city hall productivity levels reach record high are you up to date with uh, the latest fashion <laughs> trends Okay, that, re that repeats. And hello. My first day in the job when we get to tackle a riot. How exciting. Ten bucks a newbie, a newbie doesn't make it through the day. Hey, I'll take that bet, McGinn. Hey, McKing. You'll do fine, detective. Actually, what's your name? Fish. <laughs> Fresh fish. Uh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> I love a good riot. Nothing makes me happier than, than to get some bat and swinging practice in. And baton swing practice but he he is so dick bad worst cop you want in the force yeah i better get duly and hit the roads okay now we actually get to look where to go let's start left yeah, to right wait right. uh, uh, i'm gonna take away my mouse from the soundboard for us ready for using the wilhelm screen but brickman survived You, you hmm. raised your nose against me? How dare no. you? 
I was getting some water. Let's see. This is where you got McNuggets retirement urn. What a... What a fun party! I cut my eyes on you. <laughs> we spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean? There's a stringless tennis racket in here. Uh, that's, yeah, that's called Broken. It's actually painted onto the building. The mayor figured it was cheaper than building and maintaining real drains. Uh, don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Back alley mystic shops are never run by a Mc yeah, Gillicuddy or a Sanchez, are they? <laughs> Wanks. I can make out anything inside. Wings. But these uh, flyers advertising some local businesses. The grain distribution uh, company hauling oats. The sanctuary for sensory deprived animals. Deaf leopards. And the shop I buy my coats in. Fleece wool max. With fleece wood max. Mac, please. Uh, hello. Uh oh. Are those paws? No, they couldn't be. Help, I'm trapped, get rid of them. These hey, are monkey paws, aren't they? Look at the top shelf. <laughs> Lucky cats. That look like it looks more like... A rabbit. It kind of looks like a, a spring trap. <laughs> Crystals used for some sort of healing, I guess. Ow, this, this is sharp. Hm, it might be useful. You ink? Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. A dream catcher, used for trapping nightmares. Might be useful in this nightmare. Okay, I'm guessing that goes there. Yep, the rope is too tight. I need to loosen it up somehow. You can use the sharp edges to cut the dream catcher up. And just make... Okay, you could... <laughs> Alright. It's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? <laughs> okay, that works. Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous shop owner. I will stipulate I keep it on display at all times. <laughs> okay. Nice lanterns. A shop like this runs on ambience. 80% of all sales are because customers can't see what they're buying. That's pretty. You should buy it! Treat yourself! Now's not the time to be shopping. Carpet time! That's what I say! <laughs> okay, that, that's supposed to be a, a joke on carpet diem. Which I don't actually know what that means. That, that's not... Never mind. What the hell? Monkey paws all came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. I hope the riots citywide aren't all undead related. Less worry, more scurry. Get rid of them. <laughs> Various books on positive living, Feng Shui, uh, Feng Shui, and harnessing the energy of the secret bell beast to control your enemies. <laughs> Wait, what? A large trunk with sturdy lock. Oh, it, it's empty inside. Okay, well, I guess. Is it Feng Shui? Uh, maybe I'm not sure how you pronounce it now. One careful swipe, <laughs> and okay, I've caught them all. Deep. Monkey paws. The living monkey paws. They're squirming to get free. I need to find somewhere secure to put them. Okay. It, if those some are alive, uh, oh no. That means this is likely not bacterial. Yeah, this is just plain magic on there, it looks like. What's this area? <laughs> Locked down. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have escaped. You guys? <laughs> they couldn't send some other cops? The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. <laughs> Hello again, Wang. Wang? Who's Wang? My name is, uh, Detective McQueen. Mm, looks like we got the wrong guy. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out, out back, they all started moving. Uh, the body out back? What? <laughs> I never said that. You've got no proof. Dooley, you hear him? Mm. What's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. 
All this started not long after my shop was robbed last night. Oh. We found those gremlins in the end, Wang. Not in my shop, you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. I couldn't have sold him anything that didn't ex you know, doesn't exist. Wink. You just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> Tell me more about the robbery. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. <laughs> Load it in. Hello. Hey, Rom. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the lost case of the Dark Side Detective. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're having a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> you doing well? Um, yeah, I'm doing fine. Oh okay, good, okay. we're like, uh, we're like a third rate remake of 9-11 Dead by way of Big Trouble in Little China then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Let's see. Yep, floated in on a green haze. That sounds like Darksiders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what Darksiders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Okay. Uh, Let's okay. see. Can you, see? Hmm? you don't see this. You know what? Not as you do a summer movie, it's usually. Well, bacteria and all that, but. It feels kind of rare when you do a modern swim movie more based on. You know, necromancy and such. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Rome, prepare to be impressed or. Rode a despair as I do voice acting. Alright, good luck. Why is the door smashed open? No. Why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break in. Ludens? Maybe, but they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. I really ruled the order a bit much. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Seems there is an Egyptian theme display in after moments. Would those Egyptian were big? These, those pictures aren't to scale. I know that. I still don't know why I made him Scottish. <laughs> I think our cars is old enough to be on the exhibition here. Okay, that's not even Scottish, that's just vaguely pirate. <laughs> That explain a lot, for I've been debating a lot about the accent. I don't like the museums. They are just graveyards for old stuff. He ain't lying there. <laughs> oh, well, we're lucky this thing didn't come alive. Yep. Dinosaur! An impressive you know specimen. Hmm? Hmm? Technically, you don't use this... Technically, if this were D&D, you wouldn't use the same spell you'd use to revive the dead on something like a T-Rex, you'd instead use a spell something like to control inanimate objects. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. There seems to be something stuck in here, but it's too far for me to reach. And the guy, I believe typically the bones that are actually on display are copies made from molds with the actual bones. So there might be an undead T-Rex ram rampaging around the storage area. We're trying to assemble itself. I think the most problem is the real bone will not handle the display like this. And of course, there are also going to be people touching them. Yeah. And like one fuckhead in Egypt recently, how to actually just outright destroy stuff. Uh. Again. Yeah. After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Presumed cause of death is drowning as its tiny arms were not been great for swimming to the mainland. Whoa, the team here was the top of the field! Yeah, at Our the top by <laughs> being high. Also, I think here could swim just fine. Like, it has stay and massive legs. Prehistoric? Sorry, our history in is historic? How can something happen before history? 
But the point about prehistory is that it's it means actually more the time before people started making records of history. So before written history, basically. Let's see, this is what a plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think that it may be what the human body was modeled on. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, just... Curiosity cabinet. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Okay. An ape, probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. What do you think this room is? Uh, Anthropo... <laughs> Give me a move with this one. Anthropologizing for... Close well, enough, fuck it. <laughs> it was a whole word to read with the accent. Yeah. They're undead here too? What's causing all this? It's... Wait, hang on, I wanna do it. Except... <laughs> except except her? I don't even know her. Wait. Who are we talking about? Dooley. <laughs> Looks like some jewelry is missing. The plug says the Yemb of Osiris. Ooh, and Osiris is the god of the dead. Okay, now <laughs> you're being Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I'm sure if I'm doing Irish or Scottish, what accent I'm doing. It's just the. Every time I try to imagine speak, it, that's the, what the voice it comes out of my head. Let's see, Osiris, the Egyptian death, the Egyptian death gods. I can't help but think that's tied to uh, in with what's going on across the city. It's a sarcophagus. This must be where that mummy came from. But nothing up. <laughs> nothing from Dooley about them being a daddy instead, maybe. I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of that sarcophagus. Better look for a way to lure it back in there. All the different rods. Look, detective. It looks like a fancy fire poker. <laughs> so can we prod you back in there? No. You did have to be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. Yeah, medicine in the old age was a uh, yeah a big no compared to today. But so, in Egypt, it was actually quite advanced, and also I think it was a pound with a stone tablet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I overlooked that one myself. Let's see. I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever he ate. Oop. Bird bones. That must have been Tony Rex's last meal. What? Tony? The T has to stand for something. Yes, it stands for Tyrannosaurus. Oh. <laughs> the T stands for Tyrannosaurus, genius. Yeah, Dooley is, uh... Yeah, we don't know how he got into the force in the first place, so let's leave it at that. Because he probably failed the IQ chests by being in the negatives. Let's see... These might work as a makeshift lockpicking kit, a very fragile kit. Nope. Maybe if I mash these bones to the tumblers in the lock, I'll be able to open the cabinets. Okay, this, these are some weird bones. <laughs> Let's see. What? There. 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 And there. Okay. That seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. I don't think the lockpicking lawyer would like this lock. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> I have newts. There's an old note on the jars. Borrowing for Subaru a surname ASAP. T. A collection of earwax gathered from the museum staff. Eh. This seems to be filled with wasps. Living angry wasps. Burn the jar! <laughs> yeah, then I would just release them. It's stuffed full of old invoices. It contains a drawing of some jam. Some bad juju. A jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. I wonder if there's a zombie who likes pickled brains. 
Maybe. But used contact lenses. Urine sample found on site. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, pickled brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. And it was Rome's line. <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> there's a case closed pun in here somewhere, but there's just no time. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's get back to the next crime scene. Okay. After the mansion. Oop. We have reports of a break in at the Don's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we have better things to focus on than a derelict building. We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a mafia Don. For all we know, there's a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. Also, I don't think your mansion entrance is supposed to be this close to the sea. Yeah. Did that a good use of police resources and time? No. Was it fun? <laughs> yes. He must have been doing pretty well for himself to have a beachside house with palm trees. Maybe crime does pay after all. Yeah, do so more Irish now. These things remind me of some of the people we've met in our cases. Uh, okay. Have you ever noticed that the moon is always full in Twin Lakes? It's cheaper to reuse assets, I guess. It says stay out. Luckily, the law doesn't apply to us. Duly, the law does apply to us. It's not in this particular case. Okay, hello. Huh? Broken line of police tape. Looks like somebody has gone inside. A condemned sign. I don't see why it's condemned. Looks like a perfectly fine sign to me. That, that reminds me of a, a. That reminds me of a joke. I don't, I don't remember what it's from, but it's. Someone made an animation of it. Uh, I'll see if I can find it and link it to you, Drakir. I'll just put it in videos, clips, bits, clips, and such. So, what is this oh, doing yeah. here? This must belong to whoever is in, in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I better power it down for now. Nope. Battery. These boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. Yep, same. Yep. Sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Rob, do you want this one? <coughs> Second. Praise. <laughs> That's not right. Is there somebody there? Yes, are you okay? It'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Uh, Hold on, <laughs> we'll do something. <laughs> this seems to be the rope that holds the chandelier in place. Seems to be stuck. Don Cap Caponi? <laughs> this one mean looking mobster. He was also mean acting. Do you think those two facts are related? Probably. Dooley, don't quit your day job. <laughs> or potentially convenient located, you know, conveniently located table. Now that's a large chandelier. Jeez. If that drop on somebody, it really hurt. A surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. Okay, let's just sneak past. It looks like it's literally fished out of a garbage dump. Yeah. I can't open this one. I wonder what treasures are inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Various supplies, including including candles. I think I'll take one. Okay. Are we gonna... Are you gonna use, either use a knife, axe, or... Candlelight to make the chandelier fall? Yeah, candle fire. That, that liquid is so dark and stinky, I wouldn't put my hand in there for any rewards. Insert, insert Silent Hill 2 reference here. 
<laughs> no knife, scissors, or other sharp objects, but the con inconvenience, inconvenience. The remains of a long forgotten roast chicken, <laughs> or the long remains of a long forgotten chicken roast in there. It is not edible, Dooley. Uh, uh, why did you want to eat long roasted and, and run it away roasted chicken? We could use these, uh, the blood wolf camp. Someone ruined our ports by melting marshmallows all over them. Uh, what? Some, but what a, <laughs> those monsters. <laughs> Somebody half cleaned this cop. I'm sure they won't mind me taking their spines. Oh, steel wool. <laughs> what a stink. Somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything that I can eat? Duly, it's all rotten. But I'm so hungry. You made things sound urgent, so I skipped second breakfast. It's... it's evening. <laughs> this is urgent, Dooley. Fine, but after all this, you're buying me pancakes. <laughs> uh, we, we recently had pancakes over here again, and it, it goes a lot faster with making them when you're using multiple pans to make them. I haven't had pancakes in years. <laughs> really? Yep. Huh, no I'm time to crack that. Let's see, where did this go? What kind of a looter takes one drawer? Hmm. There's probably some way you could make them in an air fryer of sorts, maybe? You have to put in a little pan or something. Let's see, steel wool, a highly conductive metal mash. Okay, there. Not full trick! Combine the battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. Let the Emily talk with that. Should have known. <laughs> That's plausible. Okay, candle. Let's just leave this here. And you should be able to burn through the rope in a suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Bro? <clears throat> uh oh. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, safe to come out now. Detective, it's not a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire. What? I, I think we all are, Dooley. Uh, wait. Uh, Raxa? Raxa? You guys. <laughs> Go ahead. That was my line. You guys Raxa? are you big time. <laughs> What were you doing here? Actually, for no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> also... Okay, this is your stuff, huh? Did, did you cause all this, or are you investigating it? Look at her I mean, I don't... Think, well, she didn't cause the fire. Look at her dress-up, guys. Yeah. Yes, I'm aware she looks like a Ghostbuster. Did we leave a light on in there? Also, I've been forgetting to talk to Dooley. Sammy Roxa has made me feel all warm inside. And by warm inside, I mean warm outside on the side that faces the house. Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm thanks to you guys. What's with the get up? I'm in, sp <laughs> in spook tour now. Since I kept finding myself at weird going on and going ons and goings on. I licensed myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm there last night, so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is this your equipment? It is. It's a spooktometer. Do you like it? Uh, do, do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. But I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for Don. But he's been dead for a while. Huh. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. And so they, they killed the old butler and buried him on the floorboards. 
So, what do the readings say? That's odd. The battery is missing. Oh no, I can't whistle at the moment. <clears throat> uh, yeah, of course, it's missing. I mean, we don't have, uh, I mean, uh, we, we don't, uh, it was Zuli's fault. <laughs> hey! Thankfully, there's a printout inside it. Give me a second while I open it up. Wow, lots of spookful readings. Whoever, whatever was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. Duly, I figured, I just figured it out. The dark siders aren't looking for something out the dawn's house. They, they are looking for the dawn. I just said he was dead. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, the detective! What an amazing coincidence that over the place the chief sent us was the tight it's in so tightly with that with, with what's really going on. If we had been sent to even one different occasion, you may never have pieced it all together. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard and fast. We can't let them return. You should probably leave too, Raxa. You know that fire you started? Fire? What fire? <laughs> you must be seeing things. Probably starved from being inside. Bad for the mind. Make sure to eat something when you leave, which you should do now for food, not fire. Um, I think that went smoothly. As smoothly as gravel. Oh, hello. This is Detective McQueen. We have tracked the source of all this to the graveyard, requesting backup. Yes. Swords are scattered across the city. There is no but available to help. You're on your own, detective. Drat. Looks like it's just you and me, Dooley. Queen and Dooley solving crimes was looking coolly. And is that what I could do? I like your detective, but make out point. I wonder if we can... Why is... Why is there a place called Makeout Points overlooking the graveyard? Because for the gods. <laughs> I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. <laughs> uh, that's what I feared. What I feared. The, the place is swarming with zombies. Uh, <laughs> these must be the dark siders we've heard about. They're firing at somebody inside the church. Can't make out who, though. <laughs> Look, Dooley, over there. There's some bad mumbo-jumbo happening at the crypt. And someone has creeped in there. We need to stop them from bringing the dawn back. Okay, also... Why are Darksiders looking for a crime lord on this side? Because the Darkseid is supposed to be... Pretty much roughly the opposite of everything. So wouldn't their dawn be... Like a good guy, or is that why they're coming to get this Don to get rid of the the good Don? Okay, Dooley, let's go. Yep, yep, great. What was wrong? <laughs> I think that's the granny from with the train. Only this one isn't alive. Also, not alive. No doubt about it, they're zombies, all right. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up to this place. Might need really? this nightstick oh, to keep shit. the welcome party at bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it also works at keeping them distracted here. I hope that gate holds. They're far too eager a welcoming party. Hey, bros, I need help. I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views in the universe here. There's somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. I didn't actually notice that there. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? I can't believe I'm entering a rival parish. The thing as I do for this job. I'm surprised he even goes to church. Uh, let's I mean, see. zombie apocalypse sort of happened. <laughs> Dumpster diver. Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna 
leave right now. My throat sore, and I kind of want to sleep. Okay, All good right. luck, and be well. Thank yeah. you. Have a good night, everybody. Sleep well, Rom. I'll see you next time. See you guys later. Hmm. See ya. Let's see. An oil can? I could use that to oil the wheels, but I can't quite reach it. Can we... I can reach it, but I can't quite hook it. So I need something with a better grip. It's a box. It appears to be a box of stew. Is it warm? Cool. No, Dooley, you could not eat the old box stew. Bag full of magic eight balls? What do they say? Ask again later. Uh, oh, but I will no. That plank might be useful. Nope, it's infested with termites. Not putting that in my pocket. What a load of rubbish. Oh, look. I made one of those for my house. Yeah, of course. Let's see. If we can get this into position, I can get over the wall. Ah, it's stuck. The wheels seem to be rusted. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. There's an oil can in the yeah, but we can't reach it. <clears throat> Pardon? Pardon? The baton. Let's see. I wonder if there's another manhole on the other side of this wall. You have a baton hill. You could use that. Yeah, I tried to use that, but it it's oh. not. It doesn't have enough grip on it. <clears throat> oh. Here's one for you, Dooley. How many cops does it take to change the light bulb? No idea. But thankfully, it's working, so not our concern. Also, street lights fall under the city maintenance department, and not the police. I thought you did knew that, detective. <laughs> Duly being smarter for a moment. He has had a many smart points, actually. Yeah. The wall is too high to jump over. Duly, give me a boost. I want to take it, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. We are going to have to find another way. Did they, did they actually build a gym under the <laughs> under the police department? Let's see, water tower in a graveyard. Odd. That's for large holy water. The priest can bless it after a heavy rain. That's actually a bit smart, yeah. Hmm. Hey, that means we have... Or... Hmm. Maybe the holy water could be useful to get rid of the zombies. Yeah, I think we're supposed to leave them here. Attracted to the lights of the squad car. Hmm. How do we move... How do we get that? We only have the nightstick. Hmm. I don't see any other items we could collect anywhere. We can't go down the manhole because the dumpster is also in the way of that. Hmm. What are we missing? Uh, this can be also something really annoying with... Uh, this type of game that there's just some things you just don't see or are very hard to see. I see there are no other areas to go, so I'll have to look up another hint. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let's see. I do like that this site, let's see, nice, nicegamehints.com. I like that it gives uh, hints instead of outright. Uh, <clears throat> outright answers to uh, to something. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I don't have... I, 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 yeah. I'll probably look up this site more in, case, in stuff that we get stuck on. Uh, let's see. First, camera. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's see. What 
Dark Side Detective. Search. Let's see. Hmm. Up oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, read the hints here. Okay, Malice. No. Dawn of the Dead. Okay. Graveyard. Pushing the dumpster. Our heels are rusted. You need to get some oil. Yeah, we, we, that was easy to get. How do we get the oil? Uh, it's not cruel. We need the oil to fix the uh, wheels, but the oil is inside the very thing. We need to fix the wheels with. Get it back, you monsters. Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Drag. Well, its hand broke up, but it doesn't seem to care. We might need another way in. I can't. Oh. Okay, in position, now to squeeze this muscle and... Got it. Okay. Okay, that's the wheels oil up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Okay, but before we jump over, let's go down. Okay, Dooley, I'll go over the wall, you go through the sewers. Hopefully that way one of us can save those people and stop the Dawn from being brought back. Or that. I'm sure that I don't like ton... Not the time, buddy. The city needs us. I uh, know. Hey, detective. Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. <laughs> oh, hello. We actually get to play as Dooley for a bit. That way is blocked off by a large gate. What secrets are you hiding, gate? When all this is done, I'm going to launch an investigation onto you. I call it Gate Gate. No doubt this is a secret hole, bolt hole for government informants. This is how the government pumps the dehydration monoxide into our homes, monsters. Yeah, di dihydrogen monoxide, aka H2O, water. Uh, uh, hello. A team show on urban legends, but nonsense. Hey, little gay. What are you doing down here? I'm watching my stories. Lima B. A, a, a gator? In the sewers. Watching TV? Well, that story shakes out to me. And you, you, and you, mister, I just keep an eye out for cannibals. Your freaking chorus. Uh, Hello. This box holds all the power in the city. Electrical and political. That boat... That, that boat's not the only thing floating down here. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna say hello? One second there, guy. What's a clown doing down here? This is the circus. Eh, uh, I give the balloons to wayward kitties. Do you know? Do you know? And uh, there's cotton candy and rides and all sorts of um, surprises down here. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? I see no harm in any of this. Good on you for making sure those ki lost kids aren't frightened. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Pound Smart. As you were. You too? <laughs> Do I need to say the reference? Hello, finally something normal. Finally? Jens, interesting sign you have here. Um, thanks. Uh, Gary Blinkman again. What a. Uh... What are you working on? Us? We're repairing the power lines. 
You've noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently? We're going to fix that. Tyrese Young. Don't think we've seen you before. That sure is great. A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Eh. Uh. I see your sign. There's an, uh, there's an inverted eye. You guys are emissions. Refrigerate. What? No, the other one. Freeze. I mean, freeze. The heck, Julie? This is why there's so many of my TV dinner spoil. <laughs> Grab your stuff and get out of here. I didn't arrest you, you, but I got pleasure to be and coffee to hell here. <laughs> what are you talking? We're just here to fit. This is the rest is, is sit. I guess we gotta listen to the officer and take the rest of the day off, Therese. Uh, sure, it'll be nice to get home to the family early for a change. <laughs> of course, it's the normal people that he <laughs> takes a problem with. Uh. I will confiscate this so they can't return to whatever shady business they were at. <clears throat> yeah, can go hammer. That was the breeze from a cunning foe. Another sewer gate. This gate is blocking me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. Like uh, with a hammer? When life gives you lemons, smash the lemons with a hammer. Then send the lemons carcasses back to life so it knows not to mess with you again. But... Meanwhile, with the actual sane off of this duo. Let's see. Grave uh, cave. Crossed by writer's block. Three uh, oh. Macabre. Drowned in a stack of in a stack overflow. Paul Bearer Conway. Painting himself into a corner. What? Ben Hunty. Nobody heard what happened to him. Chris Goulston. Eaten alive by bugs. Uh, that is actually something that can happen with bed bugs. Uh, hello? Smithy, we've been breached. Charge. Ah, <laughs> wait. Crikey, I do apologize. I thought you were the Hun. Come to munch in my brain for military secrets. But I can tell you're a Yankee boy. It, it's, it's in the stance. Not rigid enough. Shoulders like a melted ice cream on a Sunday, Sunday, uh, 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 on a Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, Ill? We've got an Oz, Aussie. Yeah, prepare your Australian accent. Uh, let's see, we've got yeah, a gas mask. This. this seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off, old boy. Those Huns outside smell dreadful. That mask is my only protection. Boots in my size. Like them, old chap? They're yours. Belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Uh, thanks. Wait a second, these aren't normal boots. They've got metal sockets in them. He had mechanical legs, needed special shoes that would click on. It's why I have no use for them. Hmm, how generous. Okay. That's a nice helmet. It's poor for him to comment on another man's piece, old chap. Okay. I'm afraid you can't have that, old chap. I need to be I need to buy zombie Fritz should he try to enter my bunker. Oh, it's the Grave Digger. Okay, that explains why the hell. Can I help you, Old Bean? Who are you? Brigadier Reginald Smith. Smithy to my friends. Of course, I have no friends. No time for friends in the army, eh? Surely you're not still in the army? My dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here? Blimey, I don't jolly well know. Crashed here as a young man. Took a job as a Grave Digger as I was in the citizen. All happened some time ago, I should imagine. Why the hell were... Why the hell was an Australian flying over America? Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. This? This is just a scratch. You should have seen the Hun uh, when we were done with them. You're a military man. Can you help me gear up for the, inv for the fight? Helping with the war effort? Sounds spiffy. I still have my military kits. Let's see. Yes, my mess tin, but things seem messy here and enough here already. 
a water bottle, but it's been shut up. The ground sheets. <laughs> the sheet would probably be more use if it hadn't been ground up. It's not looking good, old chap. But I'll, I'll t I tell you what. Take my gas mask. It's over there on the shelf. Thanks. Anything to stop Fritz in his tracks. You've been here since... Again, what... What's a World War II Australian veteran doing over here? And what were they... <laughs> uh, turtle pip. <laughs> so nice and warm. Oh. Another reason to not want to go back out there. This is it's... a moment I feel like it would be nice if he had a beanie on here. Or yeah. an old Australian friend. Billed myself from plane parts after I was shut down here during the Great War. Okay, cor correction, World War One. Again, what the hell were you doing here? I say Great War, but really it was mediocre at best. Uh, yeah, if we the gas mask. Yeah, yeah. But uh, before World War... Um, no, uh, where was this when I was hunting down those gremlins? Uh, yeah, he said something about it, I accidentally skipped it over. But uh, yeah, before World War II happens, World War I well, was not called World War I, of course. Let's not like they were hoping for a sequel. No, they called it the Great War. Let's see, water tower. The legs of this tower look badly damaged. I guess it's oh. for excess water to run into the sewers. Always good. Oop. Rains. Can't pass by them, but maybe I can find a way to get over them and get in through that broken window. Well, <laughs> I need to get out of here before I get mounts done. Do you want me to do zombie voices? Yeah, uh, you can if you want. I want. Let's see. I it seems to be full of rainwater. I, I want to own a rum. I meant. At another crime scene, eh, Moon? I think it's time we had a little talk at the da at the station. Okay, yeah, we're going Wait, to have to bless this, I'm guessing. Put your mouse over the moon. Put it me. Okay, lure it. For for moon, it looks like you accidentally made a face on it with the mouse. Yeah, you could see that as a mouth. This a closed eye, and this as an uh, open no, eye. I mean, that, like, it looked like earlier when you talked that the, the arrow almost became a nose for it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oop. Looky here, Slim. We got us a stray zombie. Yeah, yeah, stray. Fire a few rounds to tra chase it off and be thank uh, thankful that uh, uh, that we ain't got a uh, horde to deal with. <laughs> yeah, horde. <laughs> okay, no going there either. Hmm. Okay, what to do then? Let's just gas and not bring this thing on. Maybe I should find a better use for it. Okay, so we have less than hmm. three minutes remaining. Yeah, we'll have to Brains we'll have to extend this. Or... We'll have to extend this or yeah, finish this up next time. I think next time for my fruit is killing me. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see him getting into the church. It's quite high. Hmm. The device or tool that gets you higher while walking on the scene. Uh, the boots. Metal socket on the inside leaves no room for feet. Maybe something else would click in. Like pipe, maybe? Or, oh, scaffolding. I hope this structure is sturdy because a piece of this could prove handy. Okay. I overlooked that, so we put that in there. Scaffolding is a perfect fit. Stilts. Okay. Oh, dear God. Let's try these out. <laughs> they can't get me all the way up here. Aw, oh, brains. <laughs> Sorry. We talked in sync? Yeah. The dark side goons is shot out the window, giving me a handy way in. You would probably want to clear out the glass, though, because you can still cut yourself. At... What are you doing here? <laughs> Agent Extreme, what are you doing here? What are any of us doing anywhere? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever is trapped in the bell tower, then figure out a plan to get uh, to the crypt and stop that ritual. 
What are you doing here? I circled the wounded, barking at the beast that would feast on carrion. Mm, that's still not helpful. I'm going to presume you mean I'm here because other darksiders are here. Presumption is the mother of dragons. Uh, let's see, anything to look at? We're not exiting through that. And that's the timer, so yeah, we'll have to finish this up next time then. And yeah, probably the... prepare an extra game. Yeah, here's the thing. So we leave an opponent that is supposed to be a bit more quiet after 10, and hence why I feel like me doing voice acting after 10 might be a bad idea in case I do accidentally get loud. Yeah. Okay, according to this, though, which is semi-spoilery, there are bonus levels, apparently. So, yeah. I, it might be longer than a sense. I don't really I don't, I don't mind doing some bonus levels in this game, since it's not that long to begin with. Yeah. Now, for now, though, we're going to look for someone to raid again. So, let me change over the screen share. There and there. And let's oh have a look. <laughs> we have Kaiju Fluffs, who is just chatting. Uh, Cozy Tober Day 8. Okay, not sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, okay, they're on their pre stream. Reef the Leaf is playing Mega Man Battle Network 2. Troll Bay is playing Under Rail. Ezra is doing art. <laughs> Uh, hello there, Dark Knight Luigi, and thank you for the raid. <laughs> Though we, we were just about to look for someone else to raid, so this is going to be a raid train then. <laughs> That's a thing! And hello! Uh, yeah, uh, hello for everyone who came along. Uh, I'm Helian. Over there is Drakir. We are, well, we could count as variety streamers. We mostly stream for story, though. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pizza brought someone over. Typically, it's someone brings over pizza, but this time it's pizza bringing others over. <laughs> yeah, really bad timing. Yeah, so <laughs> and as always, the vod for people who are interested. We were playing the Dark Side de Detective, which is a a funny, spoopy uh, <laughs> point and click adventure. And yeah, we're looking for someone to raid. So, uh, <laughs> got any suggestions, pizza? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, well, well, that still goes through the list that we have here. I'm Nice, who is playing Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Uh, Jimmy McGinger, who is playing Alan Wake. Lashris is playing Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Codenamed Ferret is playing Ma Halo The Master Chief Collection. Uh, itchy nose, sorry. <clears throat> we have Big V Streams, who is streaming Saints Row the Third. WBPL who is streaming Bulletstorm. Okay. We have that on our to-do list. Todd Skillytail is playing Party Animals. Horatius the Dwarf is still holding their Psychology Open House. And I think Reef is just closing off their stream, I'm guessing. And last but not least, we have Halloween with the Tartarus Key. Can't say I've ever heard of that game. Yeah, I haven't heard of this one. And let's see. Pizza has suggested Anxi Eti Diagnosed. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, sickness ASMR stream with anxiety. Okay. Uh, uh, is it? Okay. Uh, someone in the chat. What D&D alignment uses Comic Sans? Chaotic Evil. Uh, yeah. Who would you suggest, Rakir? Or shall I pick? I will let you pick. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> let's, uh, <laughs> let's pass the baton on over to I'm Nice, then. Oh, uh, someone else has a suggestion. Fox Assassin. Okay. Copying Nice's name, but I'll still take a look. Fox Assassin. Let's have a look. They are playing Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. Okay. So, them were nice. Hmm. I say nice. Okay. <laughs> the lizard has spoken, sorry. Uh, maybe another time, Pizza and Tara. Okay, uh, back to our place. Then we go 
slash raid and paste. But before we start that off, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, let's see. Uh, th 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 thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Tara. And we also had Keppel lurking along with uh, uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight Luigi. Thank you. Thank you for the raid again. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for the raid. <laughs> and let's see. We also had Big Trucker. So thank you for being here as well. And thank you as always, Rakir. And Rom as well. Even though you popped up you know, only a short Rom. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Okay, and yeah, with that, let's start the raids. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be continuing with Dawn of War 2. And in the weekend, we will well, finish off Dark Side Detective, continue with the Count Lucanor, and probably start, very likely start a new uh, side game. I'm thinking Mythargia, but we'll see. <clears throat> For Mythargia. Yeah. Yeah. For now, though, uh, thank you all again for watching and yeah, just <laughs> sending the ray train along. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and just the undead in general. <laughs>